Hi everyone, welcome. Thanks so much for tuning in for class today. My name is Annie and I'll be leading you through a 45 minute beginner yoga class. Um, and today's class is in partnership with Hands to Heart Center and the Boston Public Library. Hands to Heart Center is Boston's only nonprofit yoga service organization. Hands to Heart Center serves Boston's most vulnerable communities, including students in high poverty schools, homeless men, women, and children, women living in domestic violence shelters, children with special needs, adults in treatment for substance abuse disorder, veterans, migrant communities, people who are incarcerated, and more. Hands to Heart Center shares the healing benefits of yoga with those having the least access to it and who will benefit from it most. Hands to Heart Center would like to thank the Boston Public Library for partnering with us on this virtual yoga project. And again, my name is Annie and I've taught a few different classes um, at the Boston Public Library Central Branch with Hands to Heart Center. And for today's class, um, it would be helpful if you have a blanket. It's not required, but it just may make things a little bit more comfortable. So if you have your blanket, we'll go ahead and get started in a seated position. And for this, you could use any type of folded up blanket or towel that you may have just around your house. And then you can use it here to take an easy seat on top of it, just letting the blanket kind of help you lift your hips up a little bit and help to bring your hips over your knees. So oftentimes when we come to a seated position, if you're a little tight in the hip flexors, the knees may rise up a little bit. So just come to a seat, allow your hands to rest on the tops of your legs, and we'll start to ground in together. You can find a soft gaze on the top of your nose or perhaps even close your eyes. Invite a deep inhale through your nose, fill all the way up. A big open mouth exhale, release, soften through the shoulders. Inhale through your nose, fill up all the way. And open mouth, exhale, let it go, soften your shoulders down. Take another deep breath in through your nose, fill up through your belly, your rib cage, your collarbones. And pause at the top, hold your breath here. And exhale out through your collarbones, your rib cage. Draw your hands together at heart center. We'll take one more unifying breath all together. Deep breath in. Cleansing breath out, release. And bring one of your, bring your right hand down towards the mat below you. Take a deep inhale, sweep your left arm up overhead. And on your exhale, arch through your left side body. Start to open up through your side waist. And soften your right shoulder down. Release your right palm to the mat. Lift up and out of your left hip crease. Breathe in. Stay for your breath out. And inhale, come back through center. Exhale, take it to the other side. Place your left hand on the mat. Sweep your right arm up and over. And just breathe here, lifting up and out of the right rib cage. Keep both hips evenly pressed into the blanket below you and stretch your right arm up. And breathe in, come back through center. And breathe out, release your shoulders down. And we'll flow through that a few more times, just bringing some more length and space into the side body. Inhale, stretch over towards the right. Stay for your breath out, release your shoulders down. And inhale back through center. Exhale, switch sides, left arm down, right arm reaches up. Breathe in, big side body stretch. And exhale, come back to center. Place your right hand down, inhale, lift your left arm, stretch through the left side, soften the shoulders. And then switch it out, left arm down, right arm reaches up and over, big stretch on the right side. Inhale to come back through center. Exhale, release your hands, soften through the shoulders. And as you breathe in, reach your shoulders up towards your ears. As you breathe out, roll them down your back, soften. Inhale, roll your shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, release, soften your shoulders down. Inhale, lift your shoulders up. And exhale to soften them. 
Now going the other way, inhale, round your shoulders forward. Exhale, release them. Inhale, roll through, roll forward. And exhale, release, let your shoulders go. One more time, inhale, sweep forward. And exhale, release, soften your shoulders. Now on your breath in, reach your right arm up to the ceiling. On your breath out, bring your right palm to your left knee, your left hand behind you for a gentle twist. And as you inhale, reach the crown of your head up to the ceiling. As you exhale, turn to face your left shoulder behind you, starting to stretch through the rib cage, the upper back. Breathe in to find length. And on your breath out, direct your gaze back behind you. Inhale to come back through center. Exhale, release. Just find some gentle movement in this body. Inhale, sweep your left arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, take your easy twist on this side. Bring your left hand to the top of your right knee. Tend your right fingertips behind you. And inhale, grow the crown of your head tall. Exhale, twist. Gaze over your right shoulder. And inhale to lift your head up. Exhale, twist, opening through the spine. Keep both hips even. Check in with your low body. And inhale, back through center. Stay for your breath out. Roll out your shoulders. And then come into a tabletop pose on hands and knees. And this is another place where a blanket might be handy or a towel or just anything uh, that can give you a little bit of extra cushion and padding underneath the knees right here. So for your tabletop, stack your hips in line with your knees, your shoulders in line with your wrists. Soften through the tops of your feet. And with the support of the ground below you, start to engage your core. So pull your belly button back towards your spine. And inhale for cow pose. Drop your belly down, lift your gaze up to the ceiling. Hold here and breathe. Broaden through your collarbones, extend your tailbone up. We'll draw up through the crown of your head, through your neck, softening through the shoulders, breathe in. Exhale for cat pose, round and curl the spine. Press the mat away from you, dome up the space in your upper back. Inhale for cow pose, drop your belly, lift your gaze. Exhale for cat pose, round and curl your spine, open up your shoulders. Inhale, cow pose, heart lifts. And exhale for cat, round and curl. One more time all the way through. Inhale, cow pose, lift up. And exhale, cat pose, arch your spine. Now root down through your left palm. Inhale, sweep your right arm up to the ceiling. And on your exhale, thread your right hand underneath your left. Soften your right shoulder down. Reach your left forearm to the top of your mat. And keep your hips right in line with your heels. Extend your right fingertips towards the side of the room. And reach your left hand forward. You plant your left palm underneath your shoulder. Inhale, lift back up, stretch through the right side. Exhale, return to tabletop, right hand up. Inhale, sweep your left arm up to the ceiling, a nice front body stretch. And exhale, thread the needle on this side. Circle your left hand underneath you, soften your cheek to the floor. And again, you can reach your right arm forward Press down through the top of your right hand. Breathe in and breathe out. Place your right palm back underneath your shoulder. Inhale, lift your left arm back up. And exhale to tabletop, plant your palms. Walk your hands forward about one palm's width. Inhale, tuck your toes underneath you. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your hips up and back. And just start to invite some gentle movement into your body here, maybe pedaling out through the feet, gazing under one shoulder or underneath the other. 
Just starting to invite some length and some lift into your hamstrings and your lower body. And know that in your downward facing dog, you can always bend your knees. Your heels can always be lifted. It is okay if your heels don't touch the floor. Inhale, come up onto your tiptoes, bend your knees. And exhale, return to downward facing dog, find a little more length. Inhale, rise up your hips and heels, lift. Exhale, lower down, release your heels to the mat. One more time, inhale, lift up, lengthen through the hips and the heels. Exhale, release, knees bent, soften. Inhale to sweep your right leg high. Exhale, bend your right knee, open up your hip. And again, just finding some organic movements here, listening to your own body for how you need to move today. Maybe finding some gentle hip circles, sway from side to side. Lengthen the right side, breathe in. Exhale, soften, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your left leg up. And exhale, find some movement on this side. So maybe you bend your knee, find some hip openers. Maybe keep your left leg straight up and back. And know that this can always be done from a tabletop pose. So if it's more comfortable in your shoulders or your low back to take this from a tabletop, you can always lift your knee here, find the movements this way. Right, so the beauty of practicing yoga at home is that you can feel completely free in your own space to really make this practice completely your own, to customize it for how you need today. Inhale to look forward to the top of your mat. And on your exhale, walk your feet behind your hands. Keep them hips width distance apart or even wider, maybe bringing your feet to the outer edges of your mat or onto the floor beside you. Take a generous bend in your knees, soften your head for ragdoll pose. Lift your hips up to the ceiling. Press down through the tops of your feet, but keep the entirety of your feet grounded to the floor. You can take an opposite arm to elbow grip or maybe interlace your hands at the base of your neck, finding a little neck massage here. And again, just inviting some space into the hamstrings, the glutes, the low back. And allow your head, neck, and shoulders to completely soften. A deep breath in. Exhale, release. Bend your knees generously as much as you need to so that your chest can connect with the tops of your legs. And then release your fingertips down to the floor. Toe heel your feet so that they're hips width distance apart. And then slowly with control, rise all the way up to stand. Allow your head to come up last. And roll your shoulders down your back when you get to the top. A deep inhale, sweep your arms up high overhead, touch your palms, and exhale, release down, bring your hands to your heart center. Take a deep grounding breath in, and a soft cleansing breath out. Come off your knees, interlace your hands in front of you, and place your palms down, then lift your hands forward up to the ceiling, breathe in. Exhale, lift up and over to the right, again, stretching through your left side body. Relax your shoulders away from your ears, maybe gaze up towards the left side. And then inhale back up through center. And exhale, stretch over to the left. So looking up under your right arm, and invite length in, so open up from your right hip hinge all the way through your rib cage, your tricep, to the palm of your hand. And relax through your shoulders. And inhale, come back to center. And a few more of these on your own. Exhale over to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale over to the left. 
You may bend and straighten your legs as you move, maybe find a small back bend or a small round foot. So just using this as an opportunity to become acquainted with your body, with how you're feeling today, and to notice without any judgment what you need from today's practice, the options that you need to take. And then as you're ready, release your hands, find a little back bend, squeeze your shoulders together, lift your chest up, and hold here for a couple of breaths. And in your back bend, keep your hips right in line with your heels. Engage your core to protect your lower back and pull your front ribs down. Squeeze your shoulders back behind you, use them to make a little shelf for your heart as you extend your gaze up to the ceiling. Inhale, sweep your arms up high overhead. Exhale, fold forward, touch your palms, bend your knees, hinge at your hips to release. Inhale to lift up halfway. Rest your palms on your shins or thighs. Draw the crown of your head forward and breathe here. And again, root down evenly through both of your feet, but find a slight shift forward into the ball mounds of your feet to invite some length into your hamstring. And then squeeze your shoulders back behind you. Lengthen the crown of your head to the top of your mat. Inhale. Exhale, high plank. Plant your hands on the floor. Step your feet back. And we'll hold here for a few breaths. Option to come down onto your knees. Right, you build just as much core strength when your spine is long, no matter if your knees are on the floor or lifted. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, hug your elbows in, lower all the way down to the mat below you. And then bring your hands over to the sides of the mat, tent your fingertips. Inhale, lift your chest up. Find some release in your low back. And exhale, dip your right shoulder down, gaze over your, or under your left elbow. Inhale, come back up through center. Exhale, dip your left shoulder, gaze under your right elbow. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, dip your right shoulder under. And keep your toes long behind you, lengthen the legs. Inhale, come through center. Exhale, left shoulder, gaze down. Inhale, coming back through center. Exhale, release, soften your forehead to the mat. Inhale, press up through tabletop, coming into all fours, hands and knees. And exhale, downward facing dog, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and away. Inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale, look forward, top of your space. Exhale, step your feet up behind your hands. You can take as many steps as you need. You can bend your knees a lot here. Inhale, lift up halfway, pull your shoulders back. Exhale, fold forward and down, let it go. Inhale, rise all the way up, stretch your hands to the ceiling. Exhale, little back bend, squeeze your elbows behind. Inhale, reach back up, re-extend. Exhale, fold forward and down, bend your knees, hinge at your hips. Inhale, halfway lift, squeeze your shoulders back. Exhale, plant your palms, step back, high plank or tabletop, drop your knees down. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower all the way down to the mat, squeeze your elbows in by your ribs. Now this time, inhale up to a baby cobra. Press the tops of your legs to the floor. Squeeze your hands back behind you. Lift your chest and you breathe right here. And you can hover your hands away from the mat. Draw your toes back behind you. Stabilize through the tips of your hips. Breathe in. Exhale, release, soften your forehead down. Inhale, press up through tabletop or plank pose. You decide. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your hips. And if you have the blanket under you, you can keep it for tabletop or you can release, let it go. Inhale, look forward. 
Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Keep your feet behind your hands. Generous bend in your knees. Inhale, lift up halfway, long spine. Exhale, fold forward and down, surrender. Inhale, rise all the way up. Extend your hands to the ceiling. Exhale, little back bend. Open your chest. Inhale, re-extend. Exhale, forward fold, hinge at your hips. Inhale, lifts you up halfway. Squeeze your shoulders. Exhale, high plank or tabletop. Plant your hands, step your feet back. And then from your knees or toes, lower all the way down to the mat, strong core, pin your elbows in. Inhale, baby cobra, lift your chest. Exhale, release, forehead soften. Inhale through tabletop or high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift your hips up. And we'll take that through one more time with a small change if you like. Inhale, look forward to the top of your mat. Exhale, step your feet behind your hands. Inhale, lift up halfway, shoulders squeeze. Exhale, release, soften, surrender. Inhale, rise up, reach your hands to the ceiling. Exhale, little back bend, open your chest. Inhale, back up, reach high. Exhale, fold forward and down, hinge at your hips. Inhale, lift up halfway, shoulders squeeze. Exhale, high plank or tabletop. Plant your hands, step your feet back. And this time, option for a chaturanga. So lower down halfway, coming into a low plank position. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra if you like. For up dog, come to the tops of your feet. Thread your chest between your shoulders, then relax your shoulders down and away from your ears. Breathe in and exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your hips up and back. Inhale through your nose. Cleansing breath out through your mouth. Now inhale, sweep your right leg up high. Exhale, come into a low lunge, hinge forward. Step your right foot in between your palms. And it may take a few steps to get you there. You may need to use the assistance of your hand to bring your foot forward, and that is okay. And place your left hand down on the mat, or maybe if you have a yoga block or a book or a box or anything that gives you some extra lift, if that's something you would like here. So either way, root your left palm down into something solid and inhale for a little twist. Squeeze your shoulders, reach your right arm up to the ceiling and breathe here. Draw your shoulders back behind you. Lift your right arm up high and turn your left rib cage underneath your right. An option to come down to your back knee. You can have that cushion still underneath your leg. And wherever you are, start to open up through the outer edge of your right hip. Draw your shoulders together, turn your left rib cage under. Breathe in. And breathe out, release your right palm back down. Now if your left knee is lifted, bring it down to the mat, inhale up to a knee length crescent lunge. Bring your right knee directly over your ankle. Draw your inner thighs towards each other. Reach your arms up to the ceiling and breathe in. You may notice quite a deep stretch into your hip flexors on this side. And keep your right knee directly over your right ankle. Draw your inner thighs to the midline of your body. Extend your hands up towards the ceiling. Breathe in. And exhale, find a side body stretch. Soften your right arm down. Lift your left arm up. And the option to bring your right hand to your right hip crease, or again, if you have a book or a block or a box or something underneath you for some extra stability in your right hand, you're welcome to use that too. So here we'll focus on opening through the front of the left hip crease through the left side body. One more breath in. Stay for your breath out. Can you reach a little higher? 
and then inhale, return to your kneeling crescent lunge. Exhale, plant both hands on the mat, slide your hips back for a half split or hamstring stretch. And keep your hips right over your knees. Bend your right knee a lot and come up again onto your fingertips or any other type of prop you may have. And as you inhale, draw the crown of your head forward. And as you exhale, soften your chest down. Inhale to lengthen through the spine. Exhale, soften and release. Inhale, come back up to kneeling crescent, sweep forward and through. Exhale, half splits, tend your fingertips, hips peel back. Inhale, kneeling crescent, come forward, reach. Exhale, half splits, peel back, flex your front foot. One more time, inhale, kneeling crescent, come through. And exhale into half splits, peel your hips back behind you. And then from here, inhale back into your low lunge. Rebend your front knee, re engage your back knee away from the floor, palms plant. Inhale, three-legged dog, send your right leg up and back. Exhale, downward facing dog, place your right foot on the floor. And we'll take that same thing on the other side. Inhale, sweep your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge, hinge forward, place your left foot in between your hands. Use the strength of your core to draw your knee through. And again, it may take a couple steps. It may take the assistance of your hands, and that is okay. And you can tent up onto your fingertips or use any type of prop underneath your right palm. Otherwise, inhale, simple twist, squeeze your shoulders, lift your left hand high. And turn your right rib cage underneath your left. Extend the back of your left palm towards the wall behind you. Look up towards your left hand. And again, back knee can be lifted or it can be lowered. And it's okay to take a different variation than you did on the first side to try out a different layer on one side versus the next. Breathe in. And exhale, release, place your left hand back on the floor. And inhale for kneeling crescent lunge. Soften your right knee down. Bend into your left knee. Sweep your arms up overhead and hold here and breathe. Keep your left knee directly over your ankle. Draw your inner thighs together. Press your belly button back to your spine. Keep your core strong. Inhale. And then exhale for a side body stretch. Reach your right arm up and over. Keep your shoulders soft. So we'll come back to those side body stretches that we did at the beginning of class. Turn your right rib cage into an accordion as you arch your right hand up and over. And keep your core strong. Scissor the inner edges of your legs together. Inhale back up to kneeling crescent lunge. Sweep through center. And exhale into half splits. Tent your fingertips. And then peel your hips back. Flex your left toes to your face. Now keep your hips in line with one another, and you can bend your left knee a lot, right? It's okay if your leg is not straight. Flex through your left toes, and reach the crown of your head forward as you soften your chest down. Inhale, kneeling crescent, sweep through center, rise. Exhale, half splits, tent your fingertips, peel back. Inhale, come through center, rise up, kneeling crescent. Exhale, half splits, tend your palms, peel back. And one more time, kneeling crescent lunge, sweep through center, open your hips. And then on your exhale, plant your palms, sweep your left leg up and back, three-legged dog into your downward facing dog. A deep breath in through your nose, fill all the way up. Open mouth, exhale, release. Inhale, look forward to the top of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Walk your feet behind your hands. 
and inhale lifts you up halfway, shoulders squeeze back. Exhale forward, fold, surrender. Now inhale into chair pose, bend your knees, drop your hips, reach your arms forward and breathe here. So in your chair pose, you have a few options. You can keep your feet hips width distance apart or you can scoop your feet together to touch. I find it more comfortable in the low back to keep my feet apart, so this is how I'll keep my feet together. And your hands can be out forward reaching, extending your biceps by your ears, or touch your palms at your heart center if you need a little bit more ease in the shoulders and the upper back. Wherever you are here in your chair, press down through your heels to activate through your glutes. And then push your belly button back to your spine. Reach your heart up to your palm. Breathe in. Breathe out. Forward fold. Hinge at your hips. Inhale lifts you up halfway. Shoulders squeeze back. And then exhale low lunge. Keep your right foot where it is. Step your left foot back behind you. Inhale crescent lunge. Rise all the way up onto the bottom end of your back foot. Stack your shoulders over your hips. Reach your arms to the ceiling and you breathe right here. So if you would like to stay in your kneeling crescent that we just did, you can absolutely drop down to your bottom knee. If you're staying lifted, front knee over front ankle, draw your tailbone down, soften through your shoulders, inhale. And exhale, coming into warrior two, open up your legs, bend into your front knee, gaze over your front hand. Right knee over right ankle. Squeeze your shoulders together, then soften them away from your ears and gaze over your right fingertips. Now keep your legs exactly as they are. Inhale, reverse warrior, soften your back hand, float your right arm high, side body stretch, breathe in. And then exhale, low lunge, hinge forward, plant your palms. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg up and back. Exhale, downward facing dog, plant your feet. Now inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, step your feet up behind your hands. Inhale, lifts you up halfway, shoulder squeeze. Exhale, forward fold, release down. Inhale, chair pose, knees bend, heart rises. Exhale, forward fold, hinge at your hips. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, low lunge, keep your left foot where it is. Step your right foot behind you. Inhale, rise up to crescent lunge, coming onto the bottom end of your back foot. Squeeze your shoulders together, lift up, breathe here. And find some stability here in your legs. Root down through your left heel. Pull your left thigh bone back into its socket. And then engage your glutes so much that your tailbone softens to the floor. Breathe in. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Bring the edge of your right foot in line with the edge of your mat. Draw your shoulders right over your hips. Gaze right over your left hand. Press your left knee back behind you so that you can see your left big toe. And inhale, reverse warrior, reach your left arm up and back, side body stretch. Exhale, low lunge, hinge, plant your palms. Inhale, sweep your left leg up and back. Exhale, downward facing dog, place your foot on the floor. Inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Step your feet up behind your hands. And inhale to lift up halfway. Draw your shoulders together behind you. Exhale, fold forward and down, release. Inhale to rise all the way up. Sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, touch your hands to your heart center. And we'll pause here, just take a breath all together to recenter, to ground back in. 
Inhale through your nose, fill all the way up. Cleansing breath out, release. Getting into a little bit of balancing work today. Root down through the sole of your right foot. Bend your left knee, open your left hip, and come into tree pose on this side. So for tree pose, you can start right here with your left toes on the floor. The arch of your left foot is right by your right ankle. And you can keep your hands at your hips, your hands at your heart, or maybe even reach out if there's a chair or a wall beside you. Anything you need here to help you stay balanced, to feel grounded and supported. And if you would like, maybe you lift your left foot up, connect the sole of your left foot with the inside edge of your right shin. And wherever you are, focus on stability in your standing. So press your right big toe into the mat. Pack your right outer hip up and in so that you can feel your hips are square-ish towards the front of your mat. And relax your shoulders down. Find a sense of openness in your left hip. Breathe in. And breathe out. Release. One more breath all together. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, hold steady, let go. And slowly release your left foot down. Find some gentle movements in your legs, inviting a little space here. And notice if one leg feels different than the other. And we'll take the same thing on the other side. So this time, the left leg is the base. And your hands can be at your heart or on your hips to get you started. Bend your right knee, open your right hip, and connect the arch of your right foot with your left ankle bone. So bring the tips of your right toes onto the floor. Again, you may stay right here today on this side. You may feel more grounding, more supportive to have that connection between both feet and the floor. Or maybe option, just like we did on the first side, to lift your right leg up, bring the sole of your foot to the inner edge of your left calf. And again, if you need any support to help you balance, maybe it's hands hips, hands at your heart, hands to a wall or a chair, or anything else that will help you feel steady. And then once you're here, bring your attention back to your breath. And allow your inhales and exhales to help you stay grounded and focused and able to balance here and oppose when a lot of things are going on. Exhale, soften, release. And slowly release your right foot down. Invite some movement back into your legs. Shake it out. Inhale, sweep your arms up high overhead. Exhale, back bend, squeeze your shoulders, open your chest. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, fold forward and down, hinge at your hips. Inhale, lift up halfway, shoulders squeezed. Exhale to tabletop or high plank, plant your hands, and bring your knees down to the floor or stay up in your plank pose. And then inhale to shift forward, exhale, lower down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. This is our last chaturanga together, take what you like. And exhale to downward facing dog. Lift your hips up. Inhale to look forward. And exhale, release. Come down onto your knees. And then from here, we'll transition onto our backs. So bend your knees. Place the soles of your feet on the floor. And then use the strength of your core to lower all the way down onto your back. Pull your low belly in. Take this nice and slow. And then once you get down to the mat, keep your left knee bent. Bend your right knee. Cross your right ankle over your left knee for a supine figure four stretch. And in your figure four, flex your right toes. This will protect your knee joint. Scoop your tailbone underneath you. Relax your shoulders. An option here to keep your left foot on the floor. If you would like a bit of a deeper stretch, you can lift your left leg up 
and interlace your hands behind your left hamstring. And it's okay too to try on a variation of something and then realize, oh no, not today, and you go back to the other version. Right? Especially in our home practice, we're able to become curious about our bodies and the options that we need, maybe without the pressure that can sometimes come along with practicing in a public space. And take a deep breath in. And exhale, release. Maybe hug your legs in a little tighter. Then switch it out. Cross your left ankle over the top of your right knee. Flex your left toes. And then again, check in on this side. Our hips especially may need different variations from one side to the next. So you may stay right here with your shoulders soft, your right foot on the floor. You may choose to lift your right leg up, interlace your hands behind your hamstring. And you may try this on and choose to go back to the first option. And as you inhale, fill all the way up. As you exhale, fully release. And with each breath, invite some extra space into the outer edge of your left hip. As you press your knee back and keep your left toes active. Inhale. And exhale, gently release. Place your right foot on the floor. Soften your shoulder back to your hip. And bring both feet back down to the mat. Send your feet to the outer edges of the mat. Bring your knees in towards each other and arms can just be down by your sides. And then find some gentle movement here. Rock your knees from one side and then over to the other. And you can go at your own pace here. If something feels good, feels like it needs that extra stretch, that extra openness, you stay right there. Finding a little massage here for yourself in the low back and the glutes. And then once you feel even on both sides, finish out your rights and lefts. Come back to center, place the soles of your feet down. And adjust your stance so that you can reach your hands forward and touch your heels with your fingertips. Drive your heels down. And inhale for bridge pose. Squeeze your glutes, lift your hips, lengthen the front line of your body, and breathe here. And root your heels down. Spiral the inside edges of your pants seam towards the mat below you. Lengthen through the front line of your body and create a little space between your chin and your chest. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, release, lower down through your upper back, through the middle back, and release. Now bring the soles of your feet to touch, open your knees out wide for Supta Baddha Konasana. An option here in this pose to rest one palm on your belly, one palm on your heart. And this is a pretty deep stretch in your hips. So again, if you have books, or boxes or blocks that you could place underneath your knees, you can absolutely do so. Or if you prefer, you can keep your knees bent to the soles of your feet on the floor. And just rest your palms down, maybe on your body, maybe down by your sides. And just pausing here for a moment to give your heartbeat and your breath the opportunity to kind of catch up again with one another to reset to lower back down. And take a deep breath in, fill all the way up. Open up, exhale, release. And if your knees are open in Supta Baddha Konasana, bring your hands to the outside edges of your knees, close your knees together. And pull your legs into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Come into your final Shavasana, your final resting pose. 
Let your legs go along in front of you. Bring your arms down by your sides. Or take whatever final resting pose feels good for you. And if you have a blanket or a pillow and you would like to use it here, you can lay it over you if you want that coverage. Or, and this is especially good if you have any tension or tightness in your low back, roll your blanket up and place it underneath your knees so that as you lower down, you have this little bit of extra lift and it may relieve some tension. And soften through the shoulders. Close your eyes if that feels okay for you. And in our final moments together, just give yourself permission here to relax, to breathe. And know that if you need a bit more time in your final Shavasana, please take it, right? So you're practicing at home. This is your time, your space. But if you're ready to move on, to be guided on with the rest of your day, just start to slowly bring some awareness back to your breath. So without trying to make any changes, without any judgments, just bring your attention and your focus back to each inhale and each exhale. And then from this awareness in your breath, start to bring your awareness and your attention back into your body. Rolling out through your wrists, your ankles, and just inviting some small gentle movements into your fingertips and your toes. As you're ready, take a deep breath in, reach your arms back behind you, extend your legs as far forward as you can for a big, long body stretch. And then over the next few breaths, with as little effort as possible, with care, with ease, press back up to the seated position right where you started. And once we have all arrived here, we'll take a breath all together through your nose. Cleansing breath out, release. Bring your palms together to touch with your heart. Lift your thumbs up to your forehead. In gratitude, namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for class today um, and for being part of this partnership with Hands to Heart Center and the Boston Public Library. Um, I'm truly grateful for all of this. So thank you so much.